Hi everyone, so today we're gonna to take another look at the bends in the golf swing. If you are someone that struggles getting ahead of the ball, gets those steep shots that often miss to the right, or you get ahead of it and there's a lot of rotation with the hands leading to a lot of hooks to the left, I think this video could be very helpful for you. I'm gonna reference a play that I've been working with for a while now that's found a really cool and I feel relatable for many feel in the transition to help with those shots and really transition those shots into really good successful golf shots rather than the shots that really hurt the round while you're out there on the golf course. Okay, so Ben's in the golf swing. Um, a couple of videos ago, we looked at bends and achieving rotation in the backswing. Today, the bend we're gonna look at is the rib cage and how it bends from transition into impact, okay? So, uh, if we made a nice move to the top of backswing, the error that I see uh, some players out there make is that that left bend that they've created in the backswing that we referenced in the video a couple ago, they stay too much in that left bend as they move into downswing. So essentially, they're also moving ahead of the ball at the same time, and they're staying very short on this left side. So then coming into the shot while they're ahead of it, the right bend happens too late. So they might actually achieve the same amount of right bend at the ball, but the way that they've got there is what's hurting their game and hurting their delivery. Okay, so I'm just gonna put up another 3D graph here like I did in that last video. And you'll notice here how the graph, it flows down first through the backswing and at the bottom there, it then starts to work back up nice and smoothly. So there's not too much of, a, of it staying at the lowest point. It's a nice smooth U shape moving up. So now I'm just gonna put up the same graph um, for the play that I was referencing. And you'll notice that as that graph flows to the bottom, it stays there a lot longer. And what that is, is the player, let's move the ball there. Uh, what that is, is the player getting to the top and staying in the left bend into downswing too long, okay? And that is what then creates that need to shallow really quickly into the ball. And if we were to look at the rotational graph, they're just not gonna be able to get open in time because they're using the time to hang back and get the club on the ball this way rather than get their body open. So not ideal in many cases, okay? So there's the philosophies, there's the concepts, and, and, a, and a little review of what would typically happen with the shots. All right, so what do we do? And all we did is actually get the player from the top to, or what, what we worked on was getting the player into a position where from the top here, they then started to shorten the right side earlier into the downswing. And that on its own seemed to reduce, instead of this move, now the player is this room, you'll notice he's no longer moving ahead of it. And at the same time, when you do that, you're adding a little bit of rotation, I feel in most cases quite intuitively, okay? So the player messaged me one day and told me, he said, it feels like I'm, I'm making quite a good crunch on the right side in the start of downswing. And at the same time in a following lesson, while he does that crunch, he gets his right elbow in front of the right pocket, things that I've spoken about in videos and in lessons, and he moves into that space there while he's doing it. And from there, then he moves through. So the move from halfway down into the ball, instead of a compensation to try and deliver the club and get loft on it and all that stuff, because he's steep, instead of doing that, now he's here and he's actually rotating through to the target and transferring his energy more that way. Okay, so, if you are a player and you're struggling with, you know, the low shots out to the right, struggling to get the face square, or when you do get the face square, it's very handsy at the bottom, just imagine if you, if you were able to stay here and then move through, now because the body's rotating, it's not so handsy, and it's also the body's able to square the face for you, all right? So, I mean, I love this feel even for my own game, because I, I have tendencies through growing up in an environment where it's windy, um, always trying to fly to it low, things like that to get a bit steep. So I, I, this is something that I've actually used myself as well. So we can go to the top, feel as though we get a nice crunch on that right side, get our arms and everything back in front of our body there, and then work from there 
I'm working through. So that's that's the feel there. Let's see if I can hit one for you nicely. So in here, I like working through that, that feel there, really feeling where I'm getting the club coming from. And then I'm take a look at the target and hit one. I hit that one really nice. Okay, so awesome feel there. Um, work for one player, hopefully it'll work for a few more of you out there.